Welcome back guys. Welcome to another session of biology with problems and we are preparing for CS and NET and many other competitive exams like GET, GRE and all this. Now this is another problem which is analytical and also from the DNA point of view. So let's look at it. A bacterial culture growing in a medium containing NH4Cl and this is 15 NH4Cl which is a heavy NH4Cl which is a 15N means nitrogen is N15 that is the uh, isotope of N14 which is a natural light isotope N15 is slightly heavier than that so it is growing on NH4Cl and 15H4Cl uh, is switched to a medium containing N14H4Cl for three generations right so we are shifting the culture from a heavy nitrogen containing media to a light nitrogen containing media now what is the molar ratio of hybrid DNA that is N15 N14 that is the hybrid DNA it means one will be heavy uh, two, there are two different strands of DNA, so one will be heavy, another will be light. This is the hybrid form, heavy light uh, to light, that is like light DNA at this point. So that is the question, right? So let me write the question in this form, that is we are transferring from heavy to light and we stay there for how many generations? Three generations, for three generations, right? So for this three generation, this shifting has been going on. That means we just take this material, I mean bacteria from this heavy, put it into the high and stay for three generation to see what happens, right? So let's begin with it. So let's start with heavy. So once the bacteria is placed in the heavy chain, I mean in heavy nit nitrogen containing media, all of its DNA content, whatever is present there, because they are metabolizing uh, using this nitrogen that is available. So everything they will produce, this N or heavy molecule will be incorporated with that bacterial DNA, right? So in that case, because bases are required nitrogen and they will be added from the media and if the media contains heavy nitrogen, it will be added to the DNA. So in this case, uh, bacteria growing in the heavy medium and the medium containing heavy nitrogen, usually all the strands, I mean both the strands will be heavy in nature. So let me tag heavy. Uh, in this case, heavy means red color, so heavy, both the strands are heavy. Now let's transfer this into the light media. So after transferring it into the light media, what happens? This structure will produce more. For example, here we go. And because, you know, the replication of DNA occurs in semi-continuous model, that means there is suppose two strands. So they say these are the two strands, right? This is both of the strands are parent strand. Now in the future generation, once the production of new progeny or new DNA strand, what happens? A new strand start to synthesizing using this as a template. So now this is the new strand produced using this as a template. And similarly, using this old strand as a template, a new progeny will be developed. Now this is how you produce DNA, right? So that's the way to produce DNA. That's called the semi-conservative model. That means we are conserving one strand which is completely conserved and a new complete new strand is produced using that old conserved strand. That is a semi-continuous model. Semi-conservative model actually, semi-continuous. If I say semi-continuous in previous times, please ignore that. It is semi-conservative, not continuous, semi-conservative model. Now in this semi-conservative model, so there are the old strands and then they started to add new strands. So black here is the new strand, right? So new strand will be light. Remember, new strand will be light because we have transferred that into the light, light uh, medium and the medium containing light nitrogen. So whatever uh, basis will be added afterwards will be of containing light nitrogen, right? So these are the light and these are the heavy. So we produce this hybrid in the very first generation. Similarly, we transfer into more two generations. So after that, in next generation, what happens? Remember, from each of it, this is the parent strand. This black is the another parent strand. And using this parent strand, new strands start to synthesize. And you will be light. That's why I'm drawing it with black. And similarly, same thing happens to other one. So, it will produce like this. So, this is the generation 2. Now, the final generation or the third generation. What happens again? 
Remember, so let's begin with each of this. Red is the old one, right? Okay. Black is another old one, this one, right? Then the new two strands start to synthesize. So this is over. Now this one, so both of them are black. I mean old. Now new strands will also be black because light. So this is also over. Similarly, in this case, this red, right? This black, right? And then new two strands will be synthesized, right? It is over. And finally, this black, this black, new two strands, it's over. So how many number of strands are produced there? Eight, right? Eight DNA there, right? During the normal process of three generation system, eight DNAs are produced, right? For our example, for this question's sake, but actually many more DNAs generally are produced. But let's say this is a content. So we started our journey of both of the strands heavy. We end up with something like that. Now the question is, what is the molar ratio of hybrid DNA that is heavy light to light, 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 right? So here we go. This DNA heavy light, heavy light, rest of them, all of them are consisting of black. Black means we've conducted here as new. New means as they are in the light, nitrogen containing medium, they are light. So rest of them, all of them are light light all of them are light light in nature right so ultimately if we put the ratio of heavy light by light light what will be the number because that's how we calculate molar ratio so the total content of heavy light is 2 divided by the light light that is 6 we get the value of if we divide it 1 by 3 that means 0 0.33 so this will be the molar ratio of heavy light that is the hybrid to light DNA at this point after three replications.